souvenirs, souvenirs, man. Every summer, millions of children go to baseball stadiums across the country to watch their heroes play the national pastime. And even more kids watch the games on TV. That means millions of kids see Major League Baseball players chewing and spitting out harmful tobacco products, creating the false impression that smokeless tobacco use is cool and athletic. About one-third of current Major League Baseball players use smokeless tobacco. As baseball season opens, we want Major League Baseball and the Players Union to agree to ban the use of smokeless tobacco on the field and in the dugout. With negotiations underway right now on the next contract with the players, Major League Baseball needs to step up to the plate to protect the health of the players and especially the kids who look up to them. Tobacco use is the number one preventable cause of death in the United States. Public health experts have concluded that smokeless tobacco is very addictive and causes cancer and other serious illnesses. And smokeless tobacco use among high school boys is spiking. It's increased 36 percent since 2003, and an alarming 15 percent of high school boys currently use smokeless products. I didn't think cancer could happen to me. I, that was the least of my worries. So I took it up. I liked it, and I became addicted to it very quickly. At the age of 13, I wasn't really thinking about the long-term effects of tobacco. Baseball banned tobacco use in the minor leagues 18 years ago. The NCAA and the National Hockey League also prohibit tobacco use. Yet the use of tobacco products in the major leagues continues, all while the tobacco industry still spends huge sums on marketing. The tobacco industry has shifted a lot of its efforts in marketing to smokeless tobacco products. As a matter of fact, the industry spends about $350 million a year on promoting smokeless tobacco use. Just like any other product that's heavily advertised, you see increases in use. That's why it's important that baseball step up and not provide even more free advertising and endorsement for this dangerous product. Ending tobacco use in Major League Baseball would be another important step to help teach kids that tobacco use, in any form, is dangerous and can lead to serious diseases. It will also help keep our kids' heroes healthy. Now it's time for Major League Baseball and the players to stop sending a dangerous message to our kids about smokeless tobacco and to start protecting the health of the players and their young fans. They've got to get tobacco out of the ballpark. For more information on how to knock tobacco out of the park, go to www.tobaccofreebaseball.org.